is very important to a lot of people that are carrying your heart near and dear. We ask that you guide and protect our men and women in the military. We ask that you have us make our choices in this meeting uh, your best interest. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Recognize it from 
me approach you, please? Yeah. Because the rock is in front of your headquarters on Stanley Road. Huh. So I'd appreciate it if you um, bring the rock back or find another rock about the same size as that one. It was a monster rock in the whole neighborhood. It took pictures of the kids on their thing. And it's uh, Elvin Carr to talk to you about it too in the past. And that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. Any further public comment? At this time, I would accept a motion to close the public hearing on the budget. So I have a motion by Suma, support by Scott Bennett. Any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed say nay. Motion passes. <clears throat> Number two on the agenda are the minutes. I was told we can do these in a lump sum or we can do them separately. What's your pleasure? Move both sets of minutes. I have a motion by Henry, support by Suma, to move both sets of minutes as presented. Any further discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. Motion passes. Number three on the agenda is the reports, treasurer's report. Um, once again, in your packet, you've got a report that was mailed to all of you um, back at the end of July uh, showing what kind of data day balance sheet for uh, uh, operating funds and construction funds. Uh, did you remember our last meeting? We actually did put a deep dive into the finances so far for the year. Uh, there's really not much new to add here. This is just one more month's worth of data. And once again, um, this is the same type of data that we use ultimately to determine our budget for, for this next year. Any questions on the financial report from Carl? I would ask one that I didn't get out during the budget review. I noticed that uh, at neither of our <coughs> facilities that we used any of our trash removal budget. <laughs> That's Are we burning that? Or <laughs> <what's the story? laughs> uh, we actually have someone pick up and they take it over to your house. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I actually asked the same question um, uh, about uh, six weeks ago. Maybe I asked Kevin about that. I'm not quite sure. But, uh, uh, as it turns out, the amount of trash that's at, coming out of the facilities um, has been very low, in particular at the Lake Huron Swamp Station. Um, you know, that's where you can occasionally get a fish or something that will come up through the, the piping or, you know, plastic bottle or something. Uh, it's been very minimal, uh, the amount that has come up and gets caught in the, the, the screen, like, the screen. Yeah, the screen that screen that goes through there. Um, and so what they have been doing is since it's been so low, uh, they basically have been backing that up and just taking it back to the uh, water treatment plant and just closing up in our normal trash. So no, so no sense. Right. And then uh, I noticed you guys, you travel from here to the Huron plant, et cetera, in uh, vehicles from here, assigned vehicles, or do you use your own? Because I, I noticed no travel expense. Yeah, the, uh, the travel expenditure line item that was on here had been for if there was ever more like an out-of-state travel for conference or something, we actually have never utilized that um, for KWA uh, to this point. And then to your point of you know us driving out to any of the facilities here, that's done as a DCDC expense, and that's part of the $26,000 per month that um, KWA reimburses us right. for, for, for conference. Thank you. Thank you. Any further questions? Uh, I would uh, entertain a motion to accept the treasurer's report. So, so move, Kerberson, to support by Henry. Any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed say nay. Motion passes. Communications, we have none. Consent agenda, we have none. Uh, back to public comment. If anybody has any thought for public comment at this point? Um, twice, third time. Public comment is now closed. New business, resolution 2018 to establish the General Appropriations Act. Ladies and gentlemen, what is your pleasure? Mm -hmm. I was going to say maybe. That'd be a question, Chair. 
Is this the same meeting? I, I thought, was that the public hearing? Does that close out or we're still? If I may, Mr. Chairman, yes. the, we open the public hearing for any comment and we close it. So this will be the same. This will be for the budget hearing that we had at the beginning of the meeting. Okay. This will be by location. Okay. Thank you. This chair will approve what must be done. Resolution number 2018-03. I have a motion by Henry, supported by Green, to approve the resolution. To remain Mr. Chair? Yes. I would point out, um, and kudos to all the staff and the people that work on this, that the estimate, estimated budget has actually been reduced to 2019 by almost $400,000. Any further discussion? Yeah. Yes. Uh, one clarification. Yes. Uh, on the revenue projections for the resolution 2018-03, which is the uh, money for GCBC, is reflective of resolution 2018-04, uh, which would be a drop from our current six dollars per. So if resolution 1804 is not passed, our revenue will be higher. Very well. Any questions for John on that? No, not on that. Okay. I do have a question. Do you have another um, question? I do have another question. Okay, yes, a question. Under section five on this resolution, the, the estimated revenues and expenditures, can we I didn't find it in here like a break. What goes under professional? What types of services are under professional services? An 85,000, what insurance does that cover? What types of insurance is in administration? What is there, does that kind of say what that all covers? Uh, I, I guess the first thing I'll do is I bring your question back to this document. Um, um, once again, all of this does is help categorize those, uh, trying to use that by color. So under professional services, let's talk about that one first then. Um, that's the one that's uh, kind of in, uh, kind of, I wouldn't quite call it pinkish color, but uh, you can, yep, so you can see the uh, 80101, or the 801 uh, columns that make up the 161. And so when you look up towards the top, there are four line items that make up the personal services. Okay. The first one is that the first two are under the board function, the department, okay. and, um, we have uh, $100,000 of potential legal expenses there, uh, and then underneath it, professional, professional services technical. Um, so a couple things I would mention there. One is that you've got any representation from legal staff, but really on behalf of the KWA. Uh, our corporate legal counsel is not here today, uh, but uh, that would uh, traditionally be the McGraw Morris um, legal firm. Then the next one under the professional services technical, it's not nearly uh, as, as much money as you can see there. But for instance, that would be related to even reporting of our uh, meetings and things like that. Okay. Uh, the two um, that fall under the next section, general operations, you see professional services engineering, uh, $25,000 budgeted for the coming year. Um, we, so far this year, have spent nothing in that category. Uh, but that could be if there were a need to hire someone to, say, evaluate an issue that would come up at one of the pump stations or something with uh, upper pipeline. Then the next one underneath it is professional services financial. That's one that we did utilize this year, and we'll make sure that mostly are auditing firm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then you had also asked about what was the other land? Well, now I'm following. Now I see your phone call. Now it's kind of. Okay, probably uh, others. But, yeah. So it was insurance and administration, if you want to go ahead. Yeah, oh yeah, so mostly insurance is going to be a uh, liability. Like general general okay. And just to be clear, the board here, even though we do supply this information, what you're approving is not these individual items. You are approving $161,000 for professional services, um, regardless of where that right. spent in those other four categories. Did you cover it? Uh, oh, administration. So administration, and you, you may not be aware of this one, uh, you newer member of the board, but this uh, in, in the three hundred twenty-three thousand dollars represents the contract that was signed between the KWA and GCBC. So GCBC, uh, KWA has no point. 
Um, and so the Genesee County Grant Commission provides all the administrative work for the KWA. Okay. Um, and then once again, even some of those, you know, we're striving out there to do something with okay. people's time and everything. And then uh, KWA reimburses um, GCDC $323,000 a year for that. Thank you. Great. Very helpful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Good any further questions? We have a resolution pending on the table. I'm going to have to roll call a little bit. Resolution. Ted Henry. Yes. Ted Henry. Yes. Ted Henry. Yes. Mary Green. Yes. Lisa Anderson. Yes. Scott Bennett. Yes. Neil Ferguson. Sure. Joe Suma. Yes. Paul Zelenko. Yes. And Greg Alexander. Yes. Motion passes unanimously. Next on the agenda is resolution 2018 resolution establishing the water transmission fee. So moved under motion resolution 2018 water transfer fee. I have a motion by Green. Four. Support by Paul and Randall. Questions? Yes, I just wondered, uh, reducing the fee, do you have a prepaid um, prohibition in our bonds? Is there a reason that we don't want to collect that a little more in advance and maybe prepay the bonds? Um, this uh, the commodity fee is only for operations. Uh, our bonds are set up by our connection fees paid by Genesee and Flint. So these are completely separate from the bond requirements. So this only refers to our operations. Fair. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Any further questions? Roll call. Roll call. Mm -hmm. Ted Henry? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mary Green? Yes. Lisa Anderson? Yes. Scott Bennett? Yes. Neil Curtison? Yes. Joe Suma? Yes. Paul Zelenko? Yes. Greg Alexander? Sure. Mm -hmm. Motion passes unanimously. Item item is the resolution 2018 Resolution establishing regular meeting dates. I have a motion by Curbson, support by Suma, to approve the great regular meeting date dated in 1805. Discussion. The board has the authority to move the date in the event that they wish, correct? Yes. So this is our time to schedule. This is what we're planning. If something arises, we can call one earlier. If we can get a quorum together, we can postpone it. Any further questions? Roll call. Roll call. Roll call. Ted Henry. Yes. Gary Green. Yes. Lisa Anderson. Yes. Scott Bennett. Yes. Dale Ferguson. Yes. Joseph Suma. Yes. Paul Zelenko. Yes. Greg Alexander. Yes. Resolution passage and answer. Board comment. Today we'll start with Paula. I have a comment. Thank you. Speech. Nice <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Green? The record. <laughs> Not being at this time. Mr. Gerberson? I'm sure uh, if we're speaking to Jeff, he'd like the warm, dry weather to continue. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Suma? You know, I'd like the rock issue to look into and take care of one way or the other. Other than that. Yeah, uh, beautiful summer. We've been having a little bit of weather. Mr. Henry? Duplicate. Duplicate. Anderson? No comment. I would like to see the picture of the rock. Didn't come this way. Oh, okay. It's, it's right in your way. Mr. Bennett? Um, I think in talking to Mr. Wright earlier, our grass is green and grand blank. And uh, our thanks to uh, KWA. So. Uh, <laughs> we keep encouraging people to water the water of water. No, no comment. Then we'll drive up north. 
CEO Wright? I do, uh, just so you know what a couple of the board members are talking about. Typically, we sell about 12 million gallons of water a day. Because of the hot, dry conditions, we've been getting around 20 million gallons a day, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, the other thing I'd like to comment on is, again, I want to thank the staff and all the people that have worked on not only KWA, but the water treatment facility. Because of their good work, is why we we're really able to bring the unit cost down from the six to the 450, or from the 650 to the 450, whatever it was. Um, so thanks. That helps all the people of, of the county. That's it. Very good. At this time, I'm happy that everybody came out. Things seem to be going well. The water is running very well. Um, thanks to the good work that I did. What? I don't know why I'm growing said. grass right now. But yeah. Well, I appreciate uh, a lot of the stuff the staff does um, that, that keeps the stress off me. I, I now understand that I'm going through the Work Township Sewer Project, how much the staff really deals with this kind of stuff. Um, because that can sound like I'm the guy. <laughs> so, uh, good job to the staff members. You're going to be in Mr. Church, yes. that's only related since we only get over there once a week and it's been about a month since I've been over there. Has there been any algae issues in Lake Huron yeah. uh, that you're aware of at all? I know there have been in Lake St. Clair. Right. St. Clair is, is a lot shallower. It right. doesn't have the, the, the flow and the source that we have actually. Probably just like there isn't a little bit of the idea. So thank you very much. Uh, consider this meeting adjourned. Thank you all for showing. Sure.